is new music from Austin French called Good Feeling, and it's in the trailer for a new Pixar movie called Elio. Please state the name of your home world. Uh, Earth? Welcome. Leader of uh, Earth. Which is uh, super cool. Now, I, I have to ask you, uh, first of all, thanks for being here, but how does something like this come about? Do you know about it at all, or does somebody one day just come up to you and go, hey, guess what? We got your song in this trailer. Uh, you know, it was something that kind of came out of left field for me, but like I, Sony picked it up. Uh, they were the ones that kind of like shopped it out, but I didn't write it specifically for like getting trailers. It just right. kind of had this own little life of its own. Okay, so now for the elephant in the room. Uh, Disney is not the company that it used to be, sadly, and I was a Disney employee. I worked at Radio Disney. My wife worked at Disney. My daughter currently works at Disney. Come on. You used to be able to park your kid in front of a Disney movie. You know what to expect, and it was good. Now, honestly, there's a trust issue that I have with them, and that I think parents have to. You have to be more aware with your kids Absolutely. these days and stuff like that. And so, because they are forcing uh, an agenda into the content that they are serving to kids, and that's tricky. Now, this is a movie called Elio, so it's not out yet, and so we don't know what it is. Is and so you can't just make assumptions. Oh, it's going to be this, so you can't do that. Yeah. Um, is, does that cause you any concern at all having your song associated with this and then it could be something that you totally didn't plan? Oh, yeah. I mean, I was super nervous about it. Uh, you just don't know. Um, and so that was kind of the unknown of just like, all right. When the trailer came out, I was like, I gotta watch it. Like, yeah. right now. What's in the trailer? Exactly. I was like, please, Lord, let it not be controversial. <laughs> and uh, l- luckily, it was not. And it looks like a great film. Hopefully, every- they could just come back to the Disney basics of like wholesomeness. That's we're, what I'm hoping. We're gonna have to have Austin on next year when it comes out. And he's like, all right, so it's not a film I can endure. A year ago, I said, hopefully, it's a great film. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me. <laughs> well, yeah, but there is more to it than that like i mean i i think that a lot of good can come from this right and two it's going to be funny to see if there are christians that come out and they're like i can't believe you believe in aliens how <laughs> dare you yeah, yeah. i 51. am canceling yeah. you that would be great if that's the biggest drama of this right. film for I'm austin right. that's a win that's right i'll take that well i'll take that to be honest me and my wife had the conversation we were like hey uh yeah. I, I don't know how this well, is going to go. that's true because you could get pushback or blowback oh, yeah. for something that, A, isn't your fault or your agenda, but because yep. you have a song in it, people think, oh, he supports totally. that. Totally. And yeah. that's not the case, yeah. you know? Like, you can have something in there that is, like, like I, to me, here's how I look at it. You could be, you could work in a factory and be a believer, and you're around people that do things that may maybe don't further your faith, but should it mean you should stop working in a factory? You know, like, you should yeah. quit that job? I don't think that at all so to me even if it's got their nonsense in it like i would encourage believers not to boycott austin friends (laughs) yes please because that's what jesus did jesus sat with the people he sat with the sinners Mm -hmm. he sat with the people that were nothing like him but the people that were nothing like jesus like jesus because there was some truth there and so, so to me if some if you have a song that's placed in this and people start to find out more about you mm-hmm. that ultimately is a great thing for the gospel absolutely yeah did yeah. anybody like when you told your friends or your family did anybody be like oh, I don't know if you should do that Austin yeah it honestly it was it was one of the only pushback I've ever gotten on this song um, was from fans was Dancing with the Stars actually danced to this song. Oh, once. no way, really? Yeah, they, that's great. They danced to this song, which I was super stoked about. Me and my wife loved the show, and sure. like, we've watched it. And uh, but, and it was actually a Disney star who was dancing to the uh-huh. song. Uh, but you know, the outfits aren't always super modest on that show. Yeah. And right. so, uh, yeah, actually, like I got tons of feedback of like, I can't believe you would let them use your song. Oh, and I'm like. Guys, yeah. Well, number one, they didn't ask me. Right. But, <laughs> yeah. You don't even know. Yeah, That's the I don't thing. know. I yeah. don't know. They used it, and they were like, "Hey, surprise!" Here's some uh, money. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But, but it, in a way, it's like how many? I had a lot of people. Number one, uh, push back. But then I also had the the flip 
of people saying, I've never heard of your music before. Yeah. Uh, like, I now I'm going to go listen to your records. Right. And I love this song. I heard it on a TV show that I love to watch. And now I'm actually a fan of yours. So it's like introducing people to, like, if, if you get past good feeling, I have other songs, <laughs> too. Yeah. You know? and, and, and those songs are very clear about yeah. where my loyalty is, about what my heart is for, and what happens when you inter- introduce someone to Jesus. Yeah, I think that, like, again, we put things in boxes and when you let stuff go out into the ethos and into the wild you let the gospel go it does great things and and people get find that one song but then they do find more that oh i like this and so what's the first thing you do you find an artist you like and you go find more music from them and that's when you start unpeeling the layers and you get the gospel you know yeah have you ever taken ballroom lessons since you and your wife (laughs) love uh ballroom dancing so much Uh, my sister uh, uh, trained me as a kid she is a dancer no so uh, somewhere hopefully locked away in a (laughs) box that no one can find okay is me dancing okay you know my sister choreographing oh, all bless. these different things. I would things. love to be your Julianne Huff and you be Derek Huff and show me some yes. moves. That would be fantastic. And it would blow up the internet. Wow. <laughs> you, have, you have to wear the dress and the heels. Yeah, now. as long as you wear the outfit. Yeah, yes. <laughs> now, my little girl, she uh, we dance every day. And mm. she nice. she thinks she's a princess, which Aww. she is. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so she always asks, Daddy, will you dance with me? Oh. So we, we so pretty much good. ballroom dance every That's day. So uh, she's some kind of different princess every time so that's so good well, and i'm sure for her like she's the sounds like she's the perfect age for when this movie comes out you know y'all can make it like a, a family oh, yeah. night yeah. out did you celebrate anyway when you found out that it was going to be in a disney yeah. movie like did you and your family go out and like have a steak dinner oh, or... yeah. well we went to chick-fil-a that's yeah. how we, nice. yeah. we celebrate yeah. uh, chicken. Uh, it's that's right almost as expensive now <laughs> <laughs> exactly it's kind of like a steak but one thing that was kind of cool was like we were going to the movies uh and we saw the the trailer in the theater nice. and, and it was like oh I, it kind of caught me off guard yeah. uh and so that was really cool yeah. um and so my kids were my kids went with a couple friends and I, I looked over and, and my little guy Owen's like that's my daddy so that's Aww. so cool so it was really cool that's awesome <laughs> honestly like that was the iconic thing for me is like when I saw that this was a Pixar movie I just was like oh I get to be in a part where the lamp is squishing the eye like <laughs> yes like that's I remember as a kid yes. thinking that was just so cool that's that a big is deal. awesome well, and, and I don't know if you realize this or not but you're also in the room with another movie star or that's what he's gonna say oh yeah. that's right that he have is. you seen my work oh I've seen your thank work you. Wally thank you I so mean much. undeniable you... I can only imagine what that did <laughs> that, it, it did a lot for my career those three seconds <laughs> man I still get residuals uh, so and you will too so it's a lot of fun